Hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. Today we're going to be looking at the Place Mesh tool. So with the Place Mesh tool, you basically, whatever you put in the background, whatever object you put in the background, it uses to stamp into the object that's in the foreground. So if I just have a quick look here, what I've got is I've got this kind of ground plane, and then in the background I've placed lots of different Object. So these objects I got off a of Turbo Squid. Uh, what I'll do is I will put a link to this pack of like low poly objects. So let's just put in one of the trees in the background, like so. And if you'll notice, I've placed it so the tree is actually floating just on top of exactly where the center point is, and also wherever the bottom of the object is on top of that main line is where it will stamp so if the tree was kind of perfectly centered it will be stamped so it's perfectly centered in the actual object so for instance let's just go to place mesh under your multiply tab bring up the numerical and now when i click it will add a new object so let's go and make this full screen like so and then all on top of that you can click and if you drag side to side it rotates and if you drag up and down it, it does a scale so looking over here look you can as well numerically change it and this is only for the last one you've kind of used the last object you've you've kind of placed uh, if i go down quickly the render mode is just the way you can view it so you've got uh, fast deform preview and I always like to have it on normal so I can see the texture uh, you've got scale and spin of the actual object that you actually place in you've got ignore place mesh what this is is going to stop you placing a mesh on top of an object you've already placed uh, if this is off it will then let you click and place on top of the object you've just kind of created uh, so let's keep that on. Uh, smooth normals. This will give you a better positioning when you're using a more complex organic model. You've got random pitch, random uh, head, and you've got random scale. So if you wanted to, you could actually randomize this scale if you're adding more than one at a time. So for instance, if I just kind of go back and unclick this, let's that's the tour. Let's say for instance. I just simply wanted to choose some random points. So I'm just holding shift down on my keyboard and I'm just randomly selecting random uh, points like that. Let's just say that. Then if I go to the place mesh, I'm going to tell it to have, let's just put a hundred random scale and let's click populate. So what that's done now is placing the object that's in the background on each one of the points I've selected but randomizing the scale you can randomize the rotate of the head and the pitch as well if you want so that's quite cool now if I just undo that let's say for instance I had two different trees which I've got here place mesh and I did the same again let's just put it again random of a hundred and populate so now what it's done it's chose the different trees and then scale them to different sizes there's two here but they're very small and then place them on so you could do it like that as well so if i just drop that tool let's add a few more let's just add a few more like so and then this time let's go and add a few more different things so we've got like a let's add the bush a stump and a rock go to here let's put in a high let's say 200 now let's click populate so what it's done now it's randomized it uh, chose which kind of objects it's using them all but it's put different ones at different scales on the actual points that i've selected like so there is some on here they're just really small so that's quite cool as well let's just undo that and drop the selection so let me just jump to a different scene at the minute there we go so what i've got now is i've got this little roadmap here and again i got this from turbo squid and there's 
lots of different types of buildings that I want to kind of use on here. So let's just uh, put one in the background, go to place mesh, numerical, and then let's just click and then let we can just grab and put a few of them there. Let's go and choose a different object. Let's put this here. Let's scale this. Up. In fact, let's rotate it around to a bit bigger there. And again, let's put another one there. Let's go to a different building. And let's place this one here. Uh, and again, we can just, because I'm on the last one, you can rotate it how you wish. Uh, and again, the scale can be as, as how you wish as well. So that's kind of quite cool. And again, let's just click another one. Uh, so it's right next to each other. Uh, obviously, it's going on the road a little bit, so I don't like that. So if you can control Z, it will undo the last two. So let's place it over here instead, and then let's size it up a bit. Again, if I had some cars, you could come and uh, like add cars to this as well. But if I like go and put everything in the background like so, I'm going to do this quite quickly. What it will do, it will randomly choose different objects one after another like so which again is really cool as well but before you know it you can kind of build this up you can go through cars lampposts benches and you can build up a little scene as quickly as you want using the actual a uh, place mesh and it's as simple as that it's not hard to use at all my suggestion is come in uh, and have a little play around with this uh little tool panel and again go and download the actual scene files that i'll put the link to in the description so i hope this helps thanks for listening